Hi guys, and welcome to the second episode in the Origins of Halloween series. In this episode, we'll be taking a look at the Jack O' Lantern. So, carving pumpkins in the run up to Halloween is one of my favourite things to do, but where did it start? So, in our first video in the series, we looked at how 3,000 years ago the Counts would leave food in the forest to appease and distract the supernatural creatures that they believed would come out on Halloween, known as Sunheim at the time. But if we fast forward to Britain in the mid 16th century, people had stopped trying to appease these Halloween spirits, they instead tried to scare them away, and for this they drew inspiration from the gargles and grotesques located in the churches and cathedrals, as their grotesque faces believed to scare away any evil spirits that might be present. So using this idea, the people started to carve grotesque faces into vegetables, and then use them as lanterns, most commonly turnips, as it was already a common tradition to use turnips as the head of scarecrows. Soon this tradition passed to Ireland, where people noticed similarities between this Halloween tradition and an Irish folklore character known as Stingy Jack, that in life was a drunk and trickster figure, even tricking the devil on multiple occasions, to the point where Jack tricked the devil into making a deal that the devil would never be able to take Jack's soul to hell. But the devil got the last laugh, as when Jack died he was not permitted through the gates of heaven, and the devil stuck to his word of never taking Jack's soul to hell, so Jack was doomed to wander the earth for all time. However, the devil did show some pity towards Jack, and gave him an eternal burning coal so he may see his way in the dark moors. Jack took this coal and placed it within a hollowed out turnip as a form of lantern, and thus he became ever known as Jack of the Lantern. And of course, this is where we get the name Jack O'Lantern today. And when more and more Brits emigrated to the northern colonies of America, they took their traditions with them, and came across the native gourd, the pumpkin, that was perfect for these lanterns. So I hope this video has shed more light on this unusual Halloween tradition. So until next time, I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the comment section.